Am I the only one feeling a bit exhausted by the constant wave of new cores and trends taking over TikTok? It feels like every single day we see a fresh trend taking over social media. It's not even groundbreaking. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of underconsumption content, which is clearly a response to the overconsumption trend. And honestly, it's wild. Can you believe that just being a normal, mindful human being is now considered a trend? Like we've reached a point where living with what you have already buying only what you need and not being wasteful has somehow become revolutionary. It's crazy that something so basic is now seen as this groundbreaking concept when really it's just common sense. I mean, how did we get here? It's insane, but so be it. I'll play along and explain why neither of these trends makes any real sense. Let's start with overconsumption because I have more than a few thoughts to share on this topic. Social media viewers have always been captivated by extreme content. From mukbang videos featuring enough food to feed an entire neighborhood, to haul videos that showcase lots of clothing pieces enough to fill a closet. And don't get me started on those restocking videos, they might be the worst. The thrill of watching and sort of experiencing these lifestyles lures viewers. There's always a shock of seeing a person consuming or unboxing an extreme amount of products. That's why people can't stop watching such videos. The more people watch and interact, the more creators are encouraged to continue producing this kind of captivating material because why wouldn't they? It's a horrible cycle that needs to be broken as soon as possible because it's actually really worse than it seems. Katya Diane Vladimir Mirova, a senior lecturer at the University of Geneva and the founder of the Sustainable Fashion Consumption, says, and I quote, What is good for the planet is also good for our mental health and our well-being. If we buy less but we buy more mindfully, we are happier, and the planet is going to thank us because we don't need that much stuff. To be honest, I couldn't agree more. Overconsumption makes everything worse, whether it's about the planet or our mental health and bank accounts. Like one of the biggest trends on TikTok, is restocking. Whether it's skincare products, laundry room items, or even food items in the kitchen, people have been creating content by showing lots of things they actually don't need. <laughs> The thing is, they promote this way of living by making these videos aesthetic, and you know what? Your laundry room, fridge, or the drawer where you put your skincare products in doesn't need to look aesthetic. It needs to be functional, and that's it. What on earth is going on here? Is this a home or just a storage room from a market? Who needs all of these? I'm genuinely asking. Those videos set unrealistic expectations for viewers and they may lead to feelings of inadequacy as well as dissatisfaction. Now you may say that they don't set unrealistic standards as there's lots of content on restocking, hauls, etc. And I should remind you that it's their job. They are content creators and you only get to truly know them through the glimpses they share with you. At this point, we all need to know that embracing a more mindful approach to consumption is healthier. This is not just an idea of mine, it's the truth. The other day, I read an article written by Luisa Soares and Sarah Moniz from the University of Madeira in Portugal, and I'd like to share something from it. Overconsumption is an overviewed problem with big repercussions to personal well-being, since it might repress the psychological needs leading to serious mental health disorders if not intervened correctly. Nowadays, there is no standard approach for treating compulsive buying disorder, basically saying none of these clicks are worth it, my friends, none of them. Now, let's move on to underconsumption. It all started with this video. Many users loved this video and said that they have a similar lifestyle and they were inspired to spend less after watching this video. It's funny how people get motivated after watching an 18 second long video, but alright, 
After this video went viral, users started posting videos showing thrift store purchases, their perfectly normal wardrobes, and practical everyday items, which perfectly proves that we don't need to buy 10 Stanley Cups just because TikTok content creators do so. The underconsumption trend is all about resisting the urge to constantly buy new things and instead making the most out of what you already own. People are showing off empty makeup palettes or repurposing nearly finished items by transferring them into smaller containers. The goal is to focus on buying only what's truly necessary, embracing secondhand finds, and getting crafty with DIY projects. It's a pushback against a fast paced, consumer driven culture, encouraging us to slow down and live more intentionally. According to Megan Doherty Bay, an assistant professor of consumer science at the University of Wisconsin Madison, the underconsumption trend pushes back against this idea that you need to constantly be buying things to have a happy and fulfilling life. And I agree with her. It shows us what we have might actually be enough. The thing is, I've seen a few comments on this trend and I'd like to discuss them with you. Some people say that this trend is nothing but romanticizing being middle class or poor. By romanticizing, they mean that some people have the financial privilege to promote living with less as a lifestyle choice, but there are people out there who have no option but to live with less and less. It's not a micro trend they want to follow or a lifestyle choice. They live from paycheck to paycheck just to make ends meet. It's their reality and what seems like a cool, minimalist and trendy way of living is their struggle. In this way, it can seem like the trend ignores the fact that having the option to buy less is actually a privilege, while well, for many, there isn't a choice at all. To me, I think this trend is a wake-up call to encourage people to spend less, but on the other hand, we don't need to turn this into an aesthetic, you know? Even the name of this trend makes no sense since it shows how many of us actually live. So let's just say this is a reality check and that's it. There's no need to put a label on every single act in everyday life. We don't need to make everything a part of an aesthetic. I think this is what makes it problematic. And other than that, what TikTok users call underconsumption is pretty okay and it's not toxic at all. But what do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. If you made it this far, leave a tree emoji and watch this video next. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you soon.